Morning everyone. Starting at the bottom of Lansbury Drive this morning. Just want to have a look down at the Belgium graveyard. Having a look up there towards the, the Kren. It's a while since we were down here. Just to see what the graveyard's like now. The house and me seems to me to be stuck out of the way, isn't it? No, one time I was down about oh, three or four years ago now, it was in a right mess. Then we went down again and it had been tidied up so just have to see what it's from the allotments there. See what it's like now. Or somewhere you can't see the angel from. Right, so we've got to go down this little path. And then it's on the left. Another lovely day. We've come down here today because we're going to a, a funeral, so I thought when we're down here, I'll do this little video. And there's a gate along here, I hope the gate's open. Oh, I think it is. Well, this is all overgrown and all, I'm not sure if there's a little, little stream or somewhere down here. I can't see it because it's that overgrown. Cut there. Here we go. The Belgian cemetery, and it looks tidy, good, nice to see. We'll just have a walk up here a little bit before we go in and have a look around. You get a canny view from up here. Can you view across the valley? New houses there. Let me get to here and we can see the main line there and Kibblesworth up in the distance. Go back round here. And Have a look in the cemetery. Like I say, it's been looked after now, so that's a good thing. Here we go. Got a information sign over here. I am really pleased it uh, looks like this. Well kept. Now we're going to Berkeley Belgians. Just get that on clear then if you wanted to pause the video and read that. A few photos there. Like I say, there's more graves in here than I thought. I think it was the fact that time we came when it was quite overgrown. I think a lot of them were were missing, but we can we can see them all today. I can see some. I think there are war graves down there. I'll go down, have a look.
I don't know if anybody has any family buried in here. I'm just going to have a look down here at the bottom here at these wall graves. I'll need to put my glasses on. Yes, I'm really pleased that it's been looked after, which is only right. I think that should be all graveyards. Show a bit of respect for those who are buried here. But I think we're lucky in Bertley Lake, we seem to have graveyards that are cared for. Like I say, the, the cemetery and the, the Belgians are a big part of Berkeley history. As we know, the Belgians had their own village. 1914, 18. Elizabethville. which was opposite where the three tons is. And like I say, this is the final resting place for some of them. I'm not sure if after the war was over and people returned home to Belgium they, they haven't getting their loved ones took back to Belgium from here. But like I say the main thing for me is that uh, it's been looked after and cared for. I'm really pleased to see. Like I said I just thought I'd come down here this morning when we're down here and let everybody see what's going on and how it looks. Let's walk over to the fence again. Put the camera up and like I say, kibbles within the distance. And like I say, there's an old railway line over there as well. I'll have to get to that one sometime. So I'm going to leave it here and I'm pleased I've come down here this morning because it's looking okay. So take care everyone and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.